Hey y'all, I know it's been a little while since I posted, but I wanted to come back and share a little something with you guys. Now this is gonna be for my OG followers. I mean my A1 day ones. Back when I used to read on live with these cards right here. Look, I know it's a little faded on the box, but it's the Moonology cards. Y'all know these are my favorite. Okay, cause what's my name? Luna, <laughs> yes. As much as I read with those cards, I don't think I've ever made a video for you guys explaining what the moon phases are in representation of. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and start with new moon because why? Today is a new moon. And what better day to explain what a new moon is in representation of? So new moons are very cleansing. It's all about cleansing energy and new opportunities and potential, as well as your dreams. So if those dreams been dreaming, baby, that's why. That new moon energy is really getting into you. Tap in, baby, listen and take notes, okay? Them dreams are coming around at this time for a very important reason, pay attention. Let's talk about the waxing crescent moon. Now this is giving the energy of courage, moving forward and faith. So it's not a coincidence that at this point in the moon phase that you're feeling like mm, something's gotta give. That's the literal energy. So working past your fears and finding the courage and strength to keep moving forward. That's what this energy is good for. So utilize it to the best of your ability. First quarter moon. So this point of the moon phase is all about courage, challenges, and confidence. So at this point in the moon phase, it's time to stand on business. Set those goals and stick to the commitments, baby. There's work to be done. Really tap in and utilize that confident energy so you can get these tasks done, baby. What you playing for? Utilize that energy. Gibbous moon. Now a gibbous moon is all about adjustments and making changes. So at this point in the moon phase, baby, it's time to let go of those people, places, and the things that are no longer serving you, okay? If it's not serving you, it's hindering you. And if it's a hindrance, it's got to go. Because what's not growing is dead, baby. Shed that old skin. And again, it may not necessarily be you. It may be the people, places, and things that you're surrounding yourself with. Check your energy and check that energy around you. Let's talk full moons. The one moon phase everybody seems to blame everything on. Oh, it must be a full moon. It's a full moon. Well, let's talk about what full moon energy really is about. Full moon energy is about results, gratitude, and forgiveness. So if you're looking to manifest some results in your life, use that energy. It's time for it. And as well as the best time to show gratitude, all right? Set that cup of coffee out for your ancestors. Maybe even a cigar or some tobacco. You know, that's just some personal favorites of mine, though. During full moons, a lot of people like to get readings as well as new moons. But again, we're talking about full moons right now. Just to kind of get a spiritual checkup and check in and see how things are flowing. So utilize this energy and tap in and see what spirit has for you. Now let's talk about the disseminating moon phase. This point of the moon phase is about regrouping, relaxation, and acceptance. So those true deep feelings of acceptance are because of this moon phase. And in acceptance comes relaxation because when you accept something for what it is and for who it is, you learn to relax. All right, <laughs> can I get an A-gram? <laughs> A-gram, but I digress. So again, with acceptance comes relaxation and with relaxation comes regrouping. When you learn to let go of old ways of operating, you learn to readjust. And Disseminating Moon is all about that. So use that energy. Get your life together. Regroup as necessary, okay? Regrouping or re-strategizing does not mean failure. It just means you need to take another avenue. Now let's talk third quarter moon. Piggybacking off of the Disseminating Moon, all right? This phase is still about reevaluation and finding true balance and trust, not only within the universe that is around you, but within self. As I see 333 making this video, I say. Utilize this energy to find a new trust within yourself, all right? Because sometimes that self-doubt is why some of the manifestations are not manifesting, okay? You got to relearn to have trust in yourself. It's that simple. Because if you don't believe in what you're doing, the magic is not going to flow. I tell that to every last one of my clients, as well as just talking to people on live. You have to trust in what you're doing. If you don't trust in the work, the work is not going to work. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, a balsamic moon. Now, one thing about that balsamic moon, baby, you cannot deny that energy because every time it comes around, when I start feeling a certain way, the moon phase is always aligned, all right? That's why it's best to go with the alignment with nature instead of against it. But that's for another video. The balsamic moon phase is all about healing, soothing, and surrendering. Letting go of the 3D control and allowing spirit to control things. Healing yourself in all aspects of your life. So kind of like the gibbous moon, but it's a little more on a spiritual level. And this one's all about you, baby. Work on that inner self. Heal from the things that you don't talk about. Acknowledge it so you can truly surrender and let it go. Because if you surrender to the most high and allow the spirits that be to control the show, baby, there's nothing that they can't do for you. But again, you got to have that faith. 
So that is the moon phases, y'all. But again, this is just going off my personal interpretation of the moon phases. Let me know if something's different for y'all in the comments. And if y'all want a part two for me to expand on certain phases, I definitely will do that. But let me know what else y'all want to talk about, all right? Your girl's making videos again. I know I've been gone. The rebrand took a lot out of me, but your girl is back. As always, Luna loves you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. Okay, bye.